Hello and thank you for coming to my channel again. Today I have a really exciting project. I am doing an entire layout in my altered journal, which is this printed book, in pink. And so I've developed uh, some really gorgeous backgrounds that I'm going to be using and I put together a whole pack which is available on my website and so here's some of the, the elements. So we're going to make a, a beautiful layout in pink today. I need to take off these edges first of all. Now I've got rid of those edges and what I need here is a five and a half by eight and a half. Let's just get this out of the way. Five and a half is right there. Keep this for another project, who knows. There's another little piece that can go. So this one will go on this page. Actually, I should probably shave it off just a little bit more. Let's see. Tucks in here. Hmm, it needs to be smaller. So, about a quarter of an inch and about an eighth of an inch. Well, oh, I had that wrong. Now let's try it. That's more like it. I actually like having a little bit of this deckle edge showing because it's soft and pretty. So there's that side and now I will cut the other side and try and get it right this time. There, there's our other piece cut. I had to get out my other cutter because the little one was, I think the blade is getting dull and it's giving me problems it's starting to catch and pull and make things not so pretty. So, all we have to do now is put these down and I actually bought a new glue stick. But first, I'm going to do the smart thing here and put down a piece of parchment paper. Now this is just kitchen parchment paper. But I don't want glue all over my cutting mat. So using parchment paper means I can just toss it out when I'm done. I want to get it on the edges here. Nice and close, well right over the edges so that they stay down. I used 28 pound paper for most of these things because it's just a little bit firmer than copy paper. So I'll just tuck that right into, right into the edge there, into the fold. And then press it down real well. It's, it's pretty paper, isn't it? And <clears throat> for my other one, I'll do the same. I had so much fun painting these things, and I'm just I'm so glad to be able to share them. The thing about being an artist is you have to choose the thing that gives you the most joy and I've had paintings in galleries over the years and hanging in homes in different parts of the world and and while that's lovely I, I never wanted to paint once and sell once I always liked painting once and using the art on all kinds of things so uh, that's why I moved towards more illustration art okay I think that's a good start. Let me just show you what is in this kit. So we've got a little stamp, that's a little Valentine stamp, the clock, a rose that I painted and a little pot of primulas, another butterfly, and I've got these postage um, well, I don't know what you call them, stamps I guess. They're not, a, it's not a postage stamp but it's a a stamp by the post office so I, I printed it with this background and with this background and I'm going to cut them out. I, I just wanted to try and see which one I liked better and then I've, I did two of this little postcard so I'll only be using one. 
and I think I'll use it for a pocket down here to start with. However, before I get there, I'm going to move these things off to the side again. Oh, there's also this little tag, and these are all in the in the kit, so you get everything at once, and then you can arrange them and put them in, or print them however many you want, and be good. So, what I'm going to do with this, I love these these old old letters. Well, when I printed this one on vellum, so I'm going to take the edges off of it too, just so it's easier to deal with. Now that train has finally gone past, so what I'm going to do with this is just tear it and put it up in this corner. Now I don't trust that other glue stick. So I'm, I've gone back to my old one for now and we'll see what happens. I could, be, I could use um, white glue or, you know, a different kind of glue, but I like how this stays nice and flat. Unlike the vellum, which curls like crazy. So let's just position this here. Down just a little bit. Come down. edge apparently. That's nice. Now one of the other papers in the in the kit is this gingham check one. And I'm going to just let me see. I'm going to do something around this little guy. Actually I'll use the one that has the border on it. it around so that it makes kind of a border around this. I think that will look nice. So let me cut that out and then we'll put it down. I just cut it straight across. I'm not really sure where the best place to cut this would be. I'd like, like it to be kind of even but maybe here. So let's see how this looks. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I like it. I think I'll cut this little, there's just a little edge along here that I will take down. Looks like an afterthought. Seems like it doesn't matter how hard you try to cut straight with scissors. There's always a bit of wobble. as well. Let's put that in here. That's so pretty. What I did was scan a, a napkin. Oh, it's not straight and it looks like it's not straight because of all those checks. So I, that's one thing you've got to be careful of. Okay, let's see if we can straighten it up a bit here. That looks better. Yeah, I used a paper napkin to just, I just scanned it, fixed it up. Now for this, I'm going to put it on top of here, but I'm going to make it into a pocket. So for that, I'm using different glue. And I've got white glue that I just um, put into this little nozzle bottle. 
so that it would give me a fine point. this little scrap left over from when I cut this so I'm going to just give it an edge with some of these paper shapers and I don't need a whole length of it but I want to put the rose on top of it like that so it doesn't even need to be perfect give it this little kind of a decal edge. I could tear it with the ruler but I have these scissors so for small things it's a lot easier I think because you need to be able to get a good grip on, on some of the paper. Well it's, diff it's better in theory. So I'll leave that there, but I need to use a glue stick on this because it's a little bit too fussy to have um, wet glue on it. So I'll just do this one, making sure to go right off the edge. Now I cut this with my Cricut machine, which is a Cricut maker, which is how it can be fussy cut so well. If you're in the market for one, I've got a link below love the thing it's it's amazing and I haven't used it a lot I certainly haven't used it as much as uh, like for as many things as I could I'm just still kind of learning the ins and outs of it however I have a friend who has a fabulous course about like start to finish from beginner and I'll, I'll put a link below to that because it's um it's really not not to be missed. Here's my little tag which has been um, which was printed on cardstock to just make it a little firmer and I think I'll just put a little bit of of this hemp string on it or no, maybe a ribbon hold on I have no idea where where I came by this this pale pink sheer ribbon but I think it's perfect for this project now oh, let's cut it that way on the length of it. And then you fold it in half. You have to kind of scrunch it up to get it through the hole. Put it through from the back. You have to pull it through until you have a loop. And then put the ends through the loop. Pull it up. Now you gotta be careful you don't tear your your paper because this it doesn't really want to come through. So you just have to do it really gently. And I'm going to leave it like that. It's like it has a little cape on it. So it can go right in there, one way or the other. I think that is really pretty. I'm glad I remembered this. It's kind of an apricot almost, but you can't tell because it's so sheer. And I also have these, which I'm so excited about because I just put these in my shop at, at Summer Bay Studio. 
And there's over a hundred of these little ins inspirational quotes or thoughts on five different subjects. So I think I'm going to use one of those, but before that, I think I want to put something behind it. Let me see what I can find. I found this little piece of pink cardstock, so I think I'm going to just make a background for this. And I'm going to tear it so that it has a little bit more character. Let's just move this little guy for the moment. Put that like that. Then where's my butterfly? This is a little butterfly. That's my one of my watercolors. You see one of his little feelers got broken off. That is easy to fix. So don't worry about that if it happens to you. It's really hard to cut these tiny things even for the Cricut machine. And I put, I put a, put a line around it originally, and then it just looked so clunky. And you, you never want a clunky butterfly. Well, there went his other feeler, so I guess he's going to be a feelerless butterfly until I draw them on, which is okay. I don't mind doing that. All right, let's do this. My purpose here is not so much to have a journal to write in, it's just to have a journal that's um, a reflection of your creativity. It's a project, like a, think of it as a coffee table book, which is what I do. It's, I think this is a project that I can keep for as long as I want to, years, I expect. I can give to my children or grandchildren. I think I have a granddaughter who's six and she can look at it when she comes to my house, which during pandemic is far too seldom, I have to say. I'm sure we all feel the same way about that. However, let's just put this in here. about a stamp on here. I think I like that. Or is it too much? Let's wait and see. Let's do this side first and then and then decide. Okay. Now I have these um, little postage things. So I'm going to use, I thought about using the sort of dark one, but I think it's too much. So I'm going to use this pink one. I just changed the color of it in Photoshop. All I can say is I'm thankful I know how to use Photoshop. If it's not your thing, um, I think there are other options. I've heard people talking about using Canva, which I actually haven't really tried very much because I can do so much in Photoshop. It would be, um, it would be, I'd have to learn something new when I already know something that works. So, so. Like that. I've decided to put this down here in the corner. It says when you're tired it's okay to rest, which is something I think we all need to be reminded about. And I'm going to use a different a different one of these pairs of scissors. I wish the blades were longer. This one is called a decal as well, which I guess it yeah, looks pretty much like a decal. So here's what I came up with. It has a nice edge and I'm going to just use the glue stick so it gets all those little wiggly edges. And this can just go right down here. Press that down really well. to do this on top of it. A 
I love these little cards and there's there's so many of them in the pack and lots of colors lots of topics topics like gratitude love creativity pets and one more and I found these CD covers that I had in a drawer so Take time to see beauty everywhere so you can create beauty anywhere. A dog is love, art creates conversation. So lots of topics and, and lots of choices and, and I put them in lots of colors, all with a watercolor background you can see on this one and this one. So it's all the same kind of a similar watercolor background to this. And they're on my website. So if you go to my website and get on my mailing list then um, when they're on special you'll find out okay so I had to stop filming last night because it got late and I had to make supper and you know how it goes so I'm back at it this morning and I'm going to finish this page and I, I'm going to do I've decided like I've tried different layouts I think I'm going to put that there and this maybe here and then I want to make a little folder or something for here so that there's a little place to write should I decide to do that at some point or if I give it to someone and they would like to use it that way as well so I'm going to start with this I actually left the top off my glue last night so I don't know how it's going to perform this morning. Let's try it. Yeah, I thought that's what would happen. I get a big blob like that. Okay, I got rid of that. So the dry part on the glue stick. So we'll just make sure I get it in the corners. And let's add that right there. This, by the way, way, is the French word for letter. And if you don't know French, it's pronounced lettre. You make that R sound in the back of your throat. So it's almost like you need to clear your throat. And now I'm going to add this little clock piece, which I think is so cute, in this spot right here. I think, let me just try a couple of things here. That one there, this one here. I think these circles are too close together. And I don't really want to cover up too much of that writing because it's so pretty. And I think, I think we'll do it like that. Just move my paper up here that I'm not gluing over the same spots. That way then I would get glue on the front of my little ephemera pieces and I don't want that either. So this will go just kind of touching here. So there is a little space to write here if I wanted to do that. And I'm also going to add this little, little postal call these things cancel canceling stamp and just overlap it a little bit as well like that now I do have a plan for this area I did I thought about it for quite a while and I thought oh maybe I'll do a little book and I did a little bit of, of uh, vintage photo stuff and I put some lines in and I thought you know the problem is it does that so anytime you open the page, boing, it would pop up and I don't really like that very much. So I'm doing a little bit different plan here. Now my idea is to make this into a little, um, a little folder and put this on it. And I'm not going to fold it yet. Now what I'm planning to do is make a little cut 
with my exacto knife so that it just makes a little tab go from the center here just like that So there's the little tab, and now it will go around into a slot over here. So I'm going to make that little slot right close to the edge, I think. Oh no, wait a minute, I need to... This, this goes on here. And then it goes in here. I hope this works because it's... You know, I've only done it in my mind. So our, our little slot for the tab would go about like that. I'll make it just a little bit longer. So it's easy to go in. Now, let's see if this works. Okay, that works. I want it in the book in this right like that. And I probably shouldn't have made quite so long a, a little tab thing there. I think I'm going to put this on top of it, like that. So when it's closed, it will look like that. And how I have to do that, so that I don't want to glue that down, I just put glue on, on the very edges. Let's try that. So far, so good. Now, it, it still leaves my little tab open, and then I can put that into the little s slot over here. Get everything lined up. Now, I'll bring my book back. I don't need the knife, I'll put that away book back and then fit this in here and fold it now that we know how big it needs to be. I'm just going to get the edges down here really tight, a really tight fold. can glue it down. Again, I want it to, to really stick down all over and have the corners nice and tight to the page underneath it. So, let's put that in here. This is quite a cute idea, actually. I quite like it. That way it doesn't pop up when you open the page up. Now this little piece too, which is my own artwork as well, can go right in there. So let's put some glue on that, find a nice bare spot, an unsticky spot on the paper here. Up here will work. Notice I'm going from the center out because some of these pieces are pretty fragile like the stems on the little poppies. And I don't want to I don't want to pull them off or push them off or otherwise break them off. That can go right there. Now this is my trusty rag. Everybody should have one of these by your desk. So here is our finished product. I'm really, really happy with it. I love this paper, especially on the vellum. And I love, I love writing, handwriting, calligraphy. It's beautiful. And uh, there's a little bit of warping here, but I, it's kind of to be expected when you've got paint on one side and glue on the other and papers. And all of the pieces in this entire collection are available on my website at summerbaystudio.com. Even like the printed paper 
everything except the ribbon, of course, because you can't download and print that, and this little piece of pink paper. But everything is available in a set. Just look for the pink paper pack at summerbaystudio.com. I love it. The pinks are great. Um, we've got a nice little pocket here for uh, journaling space, should you so want. Another little space here, another space in here. Beautiful. Just beautiful pieces. I hope you really enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a try and get some ideas for your own journals. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Just click the little button that says subscribe and also the bell so you can be notified when I have a new video. And I'll see you next time.